Um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to make a tool and what usually I've had to make these tools on a weekend. Uh, Snap-on's not around. Uh, <clears throat> Craftsman doesn't carry this particular size. What we're looking at is somebody needs a 22 or a 1 and 1 8 or a 1 and 3 quarter or whatever, 1 in a large size uh, crow's foot, but we don't have the large size crow's foot. And uh, basically, snap on's not around because they come around once a week. Or, you know, if you have to order something, uh, it's obviously not going to come to you in the same day. The only tool that's going to work in this particular instance is this particular tool that I'm showing you which is the uh, the crow's foot and um, there really is no other way to do it other than to make it yourself and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna show you I got this from Harbor Freight I cut it off you know this is like less than 50 cents or something for the, the wrench itself and then this is just a small adapter uh, so basically this is a homemade tool that you would have to use to make um, like instead of a crow's foot so you basically cut the wrench in half and then you get an adapter this is a 3 8 adapter but you could use a, a half inch adapter if you have to and so I'm gonna try to get you some arc shots uh, I'm gonna try the best that I can Let's see what I could do all I'm gonna do is weld this on here like this and and mind you there's nothing else that really will work uh, deep a deep socket won't work, a wrench won't work, it's just the only thing that will work is a crow's foot. And uh, this really is why you need crow's foot in some certain circumstances, but like I said, it, in, in Sears, they only offer up to like 22 or whatever millimeter. So, anyways, alright, we're gonna cover you up and we're gonna get to it. I'm just welding this onto here. Let's go. go down a little bit to get the arc shot. Get it right in the middle. Anyways, uh, I dipped the tungsten. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, another tungsten. I got more tungstens here. I just tacked that right there. That's not gonna be strong enough. We're gonna have to uh, fully weld it out. Pull this one out. Put another one in. I'm just going to weld it out. I'll try to get some arc shots. You notice it's a uh, tilted to the side what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try to pull it back to the other side I'll get my rod ready then. Try to pull to the side a little bit. Still a little bit twisted. It pulled a little bit. 
it'll still work for the application. Now I'm, I'm just going to weld it out. I'm just going to get the back side and we should be done. And that'll be enough to... We'll just get it done while it's still hot. difficult with the food wire, but I'm trying. is um, it's really hot right now. I'm going to just fill in a little bit more right here to, to beef it up. Just going to beef it up.
I just beefed it up a little bit right there. And uh, basically all you got to do now is uh, you can use an extension. Now you got yourself a crow's foot. If I had to, I could bend it whatever angle I got to get to. But that's what I'm using as a crow's foot. I just get an extension or I could get a ratchet and I could get on that crow's foot like that. So that's a quick and easy way. You can see how hot it is. That's one way you can use a... Uh, I could use a stick for this. I prefer to use the, uh, the TIG though. Just for the fact that I could do a little bit better work. That's not going anywhere. This thing right here in the middle is going to snap in half before that weld breaks. That's a nice thick weld right there. So, uh, anyways, uh, this one instance is one of the things that you could use like a, a TIG welder for to uh, create a tool you need to use. If it's a Sunday and you don't have the tool, you can create it on your own. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.